Wokna Lee University. My name's Conrad Lane. Welcome to Lane Credit University. My name is Conrad Lane. I'm going to teach you how to build banking relationships. If you're trying to build your credit, you're going to learn this and learn this fast. I used to be a HUD certified counselor. I helped many clients. Also, was a SCORE mentor for the SBA, the Small Business Administration, the same administration that it, uh, implemented the EIDL loans and the PPP loans. So I'm going to teach you a few tricks. So always do your own due diligence. Don't sue or litigate me. I'm just teaching you another strategy. If you want to start building your banking relationships, is all you really have to do. Go to any bank that you eventually want to do business with. Doesn't matter if it's a car loan, doesn't matter if it's a mortgage loan, doesn't matter if it's a, a corporate business loan, doesn't matter what it is, if a credit card, go to that bank institution. So say you want to go to Chase or Wells Fargo or your credit union. You go there, open a simple savings account, open a checking account. When I was on the inside, when I was working for, I was working for a bank and I was also a HUD certified counselor, I started learning that bank relationships matter and there's actually a whole other score that is not released to the public anyone in the insight knows this so this is a huge secret get this and write this down any bank you want to do business with maybe not right now maybe 10 years from now maybe five years maybe one year maybe next month open a savings and checking account with them that's it put a few dollars in there so that's how you start building bank relationships then you start adding money to it on a monthly basis to show that you're feeding the account they judge this, even if you start with five dollars, but say you put five dollars every month, you still you still went up, you still basically increased it uh, every month on month. And so by the end of the year, that's sixty dollars, even though you start with five dollars. That's times twelve, right? That's twelve times more than what your account was uh, worth initially. That percentage is incredible. Just by putting five dollars in a savings account or checking account and adding to it every month, people don't do this. People start a checking account typically get insufficient uh, not sufficient fund fees or insufficient fund fees they basically don't feed the account is leave it and it's just dormant don't do that feed the account even if you have a little bit of money if you have if you put one dollar a day like open one dollar put another dollar there put another dollar every month put something in there even if it's not the same amount just to build the account and make sure it's more every year on year now you build a banking relationship now it's easier to go to that bank institution and get privileged for them to approve you for a business loan a super proprietor loan a first-time homeowner loan, some type of mortgage loan, corporate loan, car financing. They like working with their own clients because these are looked at as leads. When you start an account, it's looked at as a lead. Understand this, understand as well. And no, nothing's 100%. Don't sue or litigate me for this. I'm just teaching you a strategy. I was a HUD certified counselor. I worked with many big institutions. So I'm teaching you a secret. If you want to start getting approved for loans and building your credit, please start opening, checking, and savings account where you feel comfortable with your big institutions that are local to you that you want to do business with and build it think of it this way if you have a friend and some random people you don't know and you want to decide who to trust who's going to pay you back nine out of ten times typically you'll want to trust the person that you know already so if you become the bank's friends by just opening accounts with them we're making money off of you if you buy insurance from them you're building a banking relationship and the more products you have savings account a checking account. Anyone that's a banker understands that typically there's different products. The products are savings accounts, checking accounts, money market accounts. The more accounts you have, the more valuable you are to that banking institution. Understand that, understand that well, and that's how you start building your credit right away. Anyways, follow my channel, like, subscribe, share, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Carl, A C O N R A D L A Y N. Love you guys, Carly out. Peace.